Hi everyone, this is Weasel D from Grim Press. Glad you could join us today for something a little different. It's hard to believe, but we've released over 370 products in 2021. That wouldn't have been possible without our incredible team of converters, admin staff, and everyone else involved in the process. We've worked with some really amazing authors, and we're proud to be able to convert such top-notch content. I also want to thank our community and customers for continuing to help support these products. When looking back through that list, our admin team thought it would be nice to highlight some of our favorites. Remember, this is our hobby too, and we're using these conversions in our games the same way that you are. It was certainly hard to narrow it down to only 10, but after several rounds of voting, we managed to do that. So I present to you the Grim Press 2021 Essentials. Let's get started. Coming in at number 10, we have Skullport, Shadow of Waterdeep by Cassandra McDonald. Skullport, a place of pirates, scoundrels, slavers, and all other manner of unseemly folk. This supplement can serve as a companion to Waterdeep Dungeon of the De Mad Mage, or as a standalone setting for a campaign in the Port of Shadows. If you've played Dungeon of the Mad Mage, you'll know it provides some pretty scanty info on Skullport, even though it's one of the player's destinations. The supplement fills in things awesomely. Maps, locations, shops, NPCs. It is indispensable if you need Skullport as a location for a campaign you are doing. In addition to all the world building, it contains five new subclasses and even a background for players who want to make Skullport part of their origin story. You'll find new weapons, new spells, and even two new conditions to add a little extra horror to your game. Lastly, it even includes an adventure which gives characters an opportunity to dethrone the Xanathar Guild. That's a lot of content which will make your life easier as a GM and help bring your games to life in a location that players will remember. At number 9, we have Soth's Accursed Journal by Matthias Guildman and Jan Semples. This supplement is based on a product that was almost three years in the making, and it shows. It provides several new character options designed for, but not limited to, the Ravenloft setting. That includes three new classes, the Death Knight, the Elementalist, and the Monstral, 12 new subclasses, 30 new feats and racial feats, 8 new spells, and 16 new magic items. In addition, there are some revised spells and some variant rules, as well as some advice on how to roleplay as an evil character. With this variety, you and your players wind up with a little bit of everything and help you bring some unique customizations to your table. In the number 8 spot, we have Playing Dead by Steve Fiddler and crew. There are actually over a dozen developers on this project, so make sure you check out the credits and acknowledgements page for all of the contributions. Playing Dead is a massive player's companion for keeping that favorite character of yours going, even after the unfortunate moment where you forgot to check for traps. In this supplement, you'll find everything you need to become an undead character, including a new reanimated undead trait for your undead player characters, detailed guidance on becoming undead and reflavoring your spells and abilities to match. Variant class features for all 13 official classes purpose-built for your undead character. 20 brand new subclasses spread over 13 classes, such as the Druid Circle of the Host and the Paladin's Oath of the Damned. Prestige classes, greater undeath, everything you need to do to play as a fearsome undead creature, including the Lich, the Revenant, and the Vampire. There are dozens of new feats, spells, and magic items, too. I've seen other undead supplements, and they often approach this from the standpoint of a race. But by doing it as a variant class feature, it brings a new perspective to life. See what I did there? With a strong 7th place, we've chosen Nybar's Tomb of Enchantments by J.A. Valor. This supplement is built entirely around utilizing the Magic Item Forge in Fantasy Grounds, a feature which is really underrated. By utilizing nested table automation, DMs can choose to either roll the random item up or they can build their own unique items according to the rules. This isn't just a standard list of magic item supplement. It is a creative tool that allows you to mix and match and combine into unique items. There are hundreds of different item attributes that can be added in all sorts of combinations to help you create millions of items. If you want to make yourself, say, a Sage's Heaven Amulet of Greater Absorption, go right ahead. All the power to you. For a more detailed preview, check out our YouTube page or find a link at the bottom of the product page on DM's Guild. Rounding out the back half of our top 10 in 6th place is Nerzigal's Tomb of Horrifying Adventures by Stephen Williams. For those horror adventure lovers out there, you will find 10 adventures which are worthy of that category, each having its own terrifying themes and creatures. 
Three of the adventures are revised versions of older publications, complete with new content, new layout, and new art, while seven others are absolutely brand new. All this has been updated with Fantasy Grounds line of sight and lighting. These adventures range from levels 1 to 3 for Tier 1 play, through levels 13 to 16 at the top of Tier 3, providing you many opportunities for one-shots or integrations into your own campaigns. One of the things that the author includes are crib sheets for each adventure. This helps the DM stay organized if the players don't always follow a linear path. There are also lots of sidebars and notes from the author to the DM. This helps you as you're running the game. It's especially helpful if you haven't run anything with a horror theme before. Leading us off into the top five is Tasha's Crucible of Everything Else Volume 1. The lead designer was Andrew Welker, along with a design team of over 25 other creators. We were impressed enough by the supplement that we included it, even though it's just Volume 1. We're very excited for Volume 2, which is coming out very shortly. If you have players who get easily bored with the available subclasses in the core books, or you're tired of seeing supplements with the onesie twosie subclasses, then you'll find a variety of options here to your liking. Inside the supplement, you'll find 27 new subclasses for every class, including Artificer and three remastered subclasses. These characters, of course, will need new spells, and so there are over 30 new spells spanning the gambit of social, combat, exploration, and you can even harness the power of planes with new conjunction spells. Rounding out this customization, there are also alternative rules for working together, the use of variant flaws in your characters to add additional mechanical depth, and preludes, an alternative to traditional backgrounds. Of course, as the DM, you're going to want some surprises for your players. The good news is that an additional 50 magical items are also included. Landing in spot number four is Campaign Guide Zakara, Adventures in the Land of Fate, designed by GM Lent and Brock Sayer easily the longest title we have on the top 10 today. Designing a campaign and world building is hard for many DMs. Trying to do it in an exotic part of the Forgotten Realms that hasn't been updated with recent source material, well, that can be a daunting task. Luckily, you can welcome this campaign guide to the party. There is so much to love in this world building guide. There's evocative imagery, there's maps, there's details about the country, industry, and culture. Heck, there's even a Zakarian calendar and a list of common terms and phrases. As a DM, you shouldn't have any problems telling memorable stories with all the content that's included here. There's a multitude of content for helping build characters from this region. There's appropriate equipment, there's variants on backgrounds called kits, and there's additional subclasses. Of course, these characters are going to need to be challenged, and the guide includes dozens of monsters and NPCs from the Zakaran area, even including an introductory adventure to help get you started. Heading into the final stretch, in spot number three we have the Draconomicon from the QL Games team, producer Andrew Welker and project lead Landon Zaya. The converter who worked on this project indicated that it's more comprehensive than Fizban's Treasury of Dragons, and I'm not sure I can argue that. It's got more races and feats, plenty of lore, sweet art, and tons of dragons. Honestly, I'd be offended if it didn't. The supplement even has templates to make more dragons and guidance for setting them up as any spellcasters or customized versions with custom with varying attack options. It's got spells and it's got way cool items and it's got traps and for dragon layers. And you know what? It's got everything. <laughs> I promise you this. If you want pages and pages of dragons and dragon lore, then you've come to the right place. The Dragon Namicon, it delivers. It, it is everything that it says it is, and you can't go wrong with this product. Narrowly missing the top spot in second place is Xanathar's Secret Stash by writer R.P. David and Grim Press. Look, before you accuse me of favoritism, just because I was the converter on this project and I did a video preview of it, let me just tell you, I didn't vote for it. Now, don't get me wrong, as much as I love this supplement, I just had so many others to choose from, I just wanted to make sure that some of the others got a chance in the spotlight. Other than me though, it was unanimous. Our team had no hesitation in choosing Xanathar Secret Stash, and since its release, we've received tons of positive feedback on the supplement. You want magic items? You got them. 
There are over 100 magic items included, with unique art for every one of them. That means you're getting 140 pieces of art included. I know that the item sets, which provide additional benefits when all the pieces are collected, have been a fan favorite, and something we plan on including more of in the future. For a much more detailed preview of this product, please check out our YouTube page or find a link at the bottom of the product page on DM's Guild. Here it is in spot number one, Monster Manual Expanded 3 by Dragon X. I'd say I hope you weren't surprised and didn't jump ahead or cheat by looking at the table of contents in the description, but there was no surprise or question in anyone's minds that Monster Manual Expanded 3 would be in our top spot. Not only did every single member of the team vote for it, but since its release in November, it's already reached silver best seller status in that short time. That means that all of our customers voted for it too. I did a much longer preview video, which you can find on our YouTube page or at the bottom of the listing on DM's Guild, but I still wanted to spend a little time talking about it here. You know, your campaign is just more interesting when you have a variety of monsters in it that can challenge your players. It's nice to surprise them with something that looks familiar, but as a variant plays out differently. Between monsters, archetypes, and variants, you're going to have 320 stat blocks in this module. That's a big number, no matter how you slice it. You've also got gorgeous, professionally commissioned art pieces that will inspire you and terrify your players. Well, that's it. 2021 is over. Grim Press has big plans for next year, and we'd love for you to stop by and join our Facebook group or join our awesome community on our Discord server. We regularly have giveaways and contests, and you certainly don't want to miss out on any of that. As my dad loves to say on New Year's Eve, see you next year.